Hey everyone, I'm back. Uh, just finished at the Foodland store in uh, Southampton. And we're running along the coast, headed back to Sable Beach. You're gonna have to watch me eat because my sugar started to drop and realized I only had two pieces of dough, so I got myself like a little mini something or another to go with my coffee. It's got apple in it, that's my bit. My favorite fruit, apple pie, all that. Pumpkin pie, but not this time of year. Apple pie is good. Anyway, I'm happy with what I got. Sure makes it cheaper camping when you don't eat. Like you literally eat only a third of what you used to. I have yet to make my traditional camping breakfast, you know, bacon, eggs, home fry. I prepared the home fries. The potatoes have been sitting in the pan for two days. Not good. Ah, I should have got some plastic Ziploc bags so I can put the potatoes in the cooler. I didn't think. Well, well. Hopefully I'm going to Owen Sound tomorrow. Get my parts for uh, the ATV, and I'll stop. I'll get some Ziploc baggies. Should have bought a. Definitely should have bought a Canadian tire, so it'd be cheaper there probably. You can see the lake. Lake is flat today. No waves, so the water's going to be warm, warm. a good day to swim but I prefer to have the waves four fifteen People are probably, what little will show up on the Thursday at the campground, they'll probably start trickling in any time now. Lisa's so worried that I'm going to be unhappy because it's not busy and I'm like, I'm unhappy for them, meaning Lisa and Joe, not for me. I'm good either way. Like I say, it's the perfect balance of both worlds. I've got Weekends, the kids start coming in, a little bit of partying, all that kind of thing. And, okay, that's fun. And then during the weekday, like now, it's quieter. I like that. Now, last year, that first week I was there, after the big thunderstorm, there was nobody in the campground except for me. And, you know, the staff. More than a couple of days. Now, there has been people there steady. Like, so that's actually an improvement. Lisa doesn't think so, but I remember specifically being completely by myself in that campground. So, the fact that we've got several other campers in there and campers in the group section, I heard them partying last night. So, They were partying at, I don't know, two or three in the morning because I was dozing off and I could hear the music, not loud. I mean, you have to really kind of listen to it. You can't sight. Like me, I had my, I was watching Deadliest Catch and uh, 
So, I couldn't hear the music when I was playing the Deadliest Catch episodes on the laptop. But the moment I turned the laptop off, I could hear it, but just far into the distance. I don't know where they are in the group section. There's at least one set camping somewhere close to the front because I hear them like close to the washroom up front because I can hear the door slamming. Not often, but enough that I know there's people there. And then there was a barking dog for a while. Again, it wasn't bothersome because it was so far away and I didn't hear the barking dog until I turned off the, uh, the, the ATV the laptop. I hate to call that, uh, that bike shop an Owen sound. I just hope it's not a situation I call there and they forgot to order or something. Guys, uh, John, Jonathan Kirk here in Sable Beach at the ATV dealership said that he's been waiting. He's back ordered on parts, on some parts for months and months and months. And I said, yeah, they're all sitting in the container ships in the middle of the Pacific. Nobody unloading them here. No truckers. I don't get it. We go from before COVID I'm not sure how long before COVID, but it was near impossible to get a decent truck driving job. And it says Zozo, which is, uh, that's Jimmy Page, I think. I don't think Jimmy Page has a cottage there. But it's Zozo and done right. It's a Led Zeppelin thing for you guys that don't know. looked right at me to see if I was looking at my phone. Fuck off, asshole. I don't blame you for looking, but... He just turned his head. It was like one of these, like... Buddy, look at my phone. Look where my face is. What am I looking at? Your ugly fucking mug. It should be obvious if it's... If he's obvious to me, I should be obvious to him, although maybe, I don't know how dark tinted this window is in the front. I didn't choose any of the tinting or anything, it just, this is the way the truck came. It wasn't like there was a lot of choice, eh? 10 or 11 trucks on the parking lot, and all of them except for this one were all like way above my price range. I wanted something, I told him, like, I want something the same as the outdoorsman that I had. They no longer make that, so it's called the Warlock, stupid name. I was able not to have the name Warlock on the side of the truck or wherever they put it. You got, you got the truth, I got to choose that. You want Warlock on there or no? I'm like, fuck no. Warlock on my truck. Two things when I hear the name Warlock. One, I think of those warlocks that are like, I don't know, they work in castles or something, and they are like magicians. And then the Warlocks MC, which isn't Warlock, but Warlocks MC in the United States. They're like one of the, you know, badass bike clubs, whatever you want to call them. One percenters, I guess. I don't want that name on there. I want outdoorsman. Fuck. That's what it's supposed to be. An outdoorsman truck. What do I do? I'm an outdoorsman. I live in the bush. West of Ottawa. I go camping. Fishing. You know? Welcome to the town of South Bruce Peninsula. Okay, so that's what we're calling it. I thought this was First Nations land here. Maybe we're just on the, the highway. Is it? 
No, no, it's First Nations now. There's, there's First Nations weed shops, so that's First Nations. So this highway is on First Nations land. By uh, the traditional lands, I don't know what deal was made. See all these little, everybody, you go by here, it's like everybody. Uh, they're closed there, it said Beach Buds, but they're closed. Problem is, there's so many of them. This fucking dummy, eh? Passing me on a double line, First Nations land, and we're supposed to be doing 80, and then he jams on the brakes. Well, you're on uh, YouTube now, jackass. Breaking the law, too, no less. Not that I'm a copper, I don't do the cop thing. Hit him, hitting the brakes now, hitting the brakes, hitting the brakes, hitting the brakes. But he had to pass me, absolutely had to. You're in Sable fucking beach in the middle of summer and you want to drive like a maniac city it. That's that's what you are, a sand flea maniac city it. It passes on the double line. With cars coming his way. Like. And it's it's packed down with all kinds of camping gear, so they're in such a hurry to get to a campsite and end up killing themselves or somebody else too. It's the somebody else I worry about. I don't care about them. They might kill a, you know, a bunch of kids or something in a parking or in a, you know, another vehicle coming the other way with their parents going camping or something. You know, idiots. Maybe it is a parent with kids and idiots, but you shouldn't be driving your truck vehicle like that in these parts. This is like campground alley, man. So kids can come running out. You know, the ATV trail right here. It's insane to be doing all this stupid shit. Look at this. It's Carson's fucking man. It's like it's like going into like the parking lot here for Carson's. They got a separate parking lot, and it's got the big you know. So you got like a pass card to get in. God, these are not campgrounds, man. I don't know what you want to call them. At least uh, we're at Carson's here, where the where they park is grass. Actually, it was grass at the other one, at Woodland or whatever they call themselves too. I just thought of that. It's the roads all around the campsites. They're all asphalt. There's street lights, you know, and all this. Like it's not a campground. I don't know what you want to call it, but it's not a campground, you know. It's a luxury something something. Cannot figure out. You fucking jackass. The Dunes Restaurant and Bar. I've never been into any of them here. Not my thing. Busy downtown, so I will. It's a nice day to swim. The water's warm, so. South Bruce Peninsula OPP and Fire Department. Looks like a quiet place. That's a good thing out here. Yeah, see here? This is why you don't drive like an idiot. How can they have kids in here? You're not even allowed to talk loud even during the day here. It's like stupid, man. Well, it's like that serious, like truthfully. Like I can't believe, like, like we stayed, like I say, we stayed there once. The owners were assholes to us. And I had a mentally, uh, well, an autistic man with me on that trip and, uh, and little Frankie, who at that time was 12, 11, 12 years old, they're treating us like jackasses. And they were behaving. You know, they wanted to be camping, you know, with the fire and everything. And they didn't want to be told they had to, you know, shut the campfire down at like 10 or 11 o'clock, whatever it was, it was ridiculous. You couldn't get safer campfires. Uh, you know, they got the fire ring, you know, in the middle, and then they got concrete all around it. So, but anyway, fuck them. 
we went to that other campground here, which is something river campground. They were cokeheads. Uh, and they say, well, how do you know they're cokeheads? Well, we got there at 8 o'clock in the morning. They were pissed as hornets at us for showing up at 8 o'clock in the morning. And the guy had blow hanging off his fucking nose. I had to give him the wipe signal. He just kind of shrugged to give me a look. And I'm like, you know, uh, okay, buddy, I've seen that before. And I've actually seen it in my own mirror. But like 30 years ago. <laughs> 40 years ago almost now, like the 80s. I didn't do blow after 1990. Guarantee it. I never did a line after that. Never will. Never again. But, um, yeah, I hope pissed up at us. And it just wasn't a night. The pool had just been built and they were kind of letting people use it and kind of not. They claim to be, well, they are on a river. <laughs> the Sajin River. Whatever this one's called here. But it was more like a creek where our campsite was. I can't remember we came in July. I think it was July and it was packed with mosquitoes as well. But that's that's not the campground's fault. But everything else, yeah. Now they weren't anal, obviously. They were up all night partying. So other people partying, I guess, was not, you know, shrugged their shoulders kind of thing, right? But, um, yeah. Two rivers? Something like that. Anyways, never go back. We started going here. And that was it. It was like, wow, heaven. White Sands Campground. Absolute heaven. Oh, 16 minutes. Okay, I was promising myself not to go past 10 minutes. Now I've got to split them in two again, and I hate that. Okay, everyone. We'll see you later, okay? Bye-bye.